Hello friends and welcome to Hawaii! Kauai to be exact. In today's video I'm going to be taking you to some of the best vegan spots that I found on the island. If you're going to be traveling here or you know anyone who is who wants to get some great plant-based scrub, there's a lot here. Uh, but you do have to know what to look for. It took a few days to do some research and find the hidden gems that have awesome vegan options here in Kauai. Uh, so I'm going to show you the places that we love the most. Join me! My favorite spot on the island happened to be right around the corner from where we were staying on the eastern side of the island. It's called Russell's and it's an entirely plant-based restaurant. This adorable pink little place with this healthy sign in front. You walk through the front of the shop and go to the backyard where they have this whole little courtyard set up with multiple tables and just a really nice dining atmosphere. The menu is extensive. It ranges between comfort foods and more fine dining foods. They have lots of smoothies and really helpful things. We got this fruity smoothie that Graham absolutely loved. And then we also got coffee drink and their fresh spring rolls, which were so good. And I love that they wrote aloha in, in the hot sauce on the plate. It was so beautiful. We went there a few times. We went for this brunch. We also got this breakfast burrito, which was insanely good, like insanely good. And it is kid friendly. If you're traveling with kids, they have menu items that are kid appropriate. And then we also went back for dinner and I highly recommend their dinners for more of a fine dining experience. They are a little pricier, but they get really creative with the dishes and we just really, really enjoyed our experience there. A trip to Kauai would not be complete without stopping at one of their adorable juice stands. And one of my favorites on the island is called Kalale Juice Hail. Uh, this adorable stand is bright orange and surrounded by palm trees. And um, they actually have a smaller little stand there where they typically have an array of fresh produce. And on the menu, you can find things like delicious smoothie, smoothie bowls, acai bowls, uh, and you can get cold coconuts there, which I was craving. They give you a cold coconut, pop a compostable straw in, and then when you're done, they will actually crack it open and you can enjoy the coconut meat. Shave ice is another essential treat when visiting Hawaii and Wishing Well Shave Ice is an awesome spot. They've been serving up refreshing shave ice out of an old bus at the entrance of Hanalei, Kauai since 1983. They're incredibly vegan friendly. Even the granola that they have to top their acai bowls is vegan. Uh, they have smoothies, there's coffee, matcha. I got one of their turmeric lattes. They have hibiscus lemonade uh, and a gorgeous menu to choose from. So this is a really fun spot and it's right down the street from a vegan donut shop. If you need a break from acai bowls or are just looking for something to do on the North Shore in the early morning, you definitely need to head to Holy Grail Donuts. It's an all vegan food truck in Hanalei uh, on the North Shore. And this place is amazing. It's really popular and it opens earlier than most spots in Hanalei and it's pretty bustling all day long. They serve up freshly made taro cake donuts fried in coconut oil and they have four special flavors that rotate each week. And you can pick up a beautiful tasting box of all four flavors for about $12 or you can just go get one to give it a try. And it's in this little food truck park with a whole bunch of other food trucks, several of which have awesome vegan options. Another must visit spot is the Kauai Juice Company. This is an outstanding fresh juice shop. They actually have several locations across the island so it's pretty accessible and they make fresh grab and go juices like this one, their avatar juice, which I highly recommend. It's really fresh, kind of like a natural Gatorade made with coconut water and blue magic, which turns it this color, pineapple and chia seeds, so yummy. They also serve up healthy salads, chia pudding parfaits, wellness juice shots, and a whole line of house-made hot sauces that are really yummy and they work really great uh, to bring home as souvenirs or as gifts for friends.
The Spot North Shore is a really cool place. It's not all vegan, but it's insanely vegan friendly. And we actually stumbled upon this place uh, because of the huge line weaving out the door and around the courtyard. It's located in a really nice outdoor shopping center on the way to the North Shore. Well, I guess you're technically in the North Shore, but the very beginning of the North Shore. And while a line like this usually makes me run in the opposite direction, we decided to wait because we didn't have any other plans that morning. And we got some really yummy food. We got a smashed avocado toast with added tofu scramble and a green machine bowl which had organic quinoa and sauteed veggies and tahini green goddess sauce, roasted pepitas and tofu scramble. That was delicious. And then we got one of the spot bowls which is essentially a soft serve swirl made from frozen bananas or a coconut base and you can add your pick of mix-in. So you get this delicious soft serve made purely from fruit. We stumbled upon Aloha Aina Juice Cafe thanks to Happy Cow, which is a Yelp style vegan app that shows the vegan friendly spots near you. It's awesome if you're doing any traveling. And this spot was really highly rated and their pitaya bowls are really special here. It's served up like soft serve. They're a beautiful pink color. So we ordered the pitaya bowl and asked them to leave off the granola since it contained honey. And then we also got their fresh avocado toast, which isn't permanent on their menu, but they often have it. And they were both perfection so good and Graham loved it oh my god one of my favorite things to do when traveling is check out the local natural food stores and there were a couple that we went to on the island one was called papaya's natural food store and the other is hoku foods natural market and both of them were awesome they were stocked with all the essentials you can find vegan meats and cheeses and ice creams and all those specialty items and then also of course things like cruelty free body care and um, bamboo toothbrushes sustainable sunglasses all sorts of cool stuff love going there and also eating out can be really expensive especially when you're traveling and especially when you're traveling on an island so since we had access to a kitchen we got to get some nice produce hoku natural foods market has a huge enormous bulk section um, and they both offer fresh fresh fruits and veggies so you can pick some up and make some things at home I brought back a pitaya, aka dragon fruit, because they're so beautiful, and I made a pitaya smoothie with frozen bananas too. And then I made a mango smoothie, some nice tropical oatmeal bowls. This is something I found at one of the natural foods markets, and it was so good. Way to go, Nasoya. And they had these seasoned edamame that Graham is obsessed with. They're really good at pitaya natural foods. And so yeah, lots of gems there. Of course, you can always find beautiful tropical drinks throughout the island and holler to Beyond Burgers because they were on like so many menus across Kauai. This was just a little local restaurant near uh, where we were staying and they had delicious Beyond Burgers. So cheers. We visited this spot, which there's actually several on the island and it's one of the few all vegan spots, which was pretty cool. And they had really yummy tacos and bowls and smoothies and whatnot, although the wait was very long. So make sure you go with plenty of time. Okay, as I'm looking through all my footage, I could go on forever. There are so many cool little vegan spots, but I'll just sort of add a compilation of some other cool places that we went to here. And I put together a full comprehensive guide to eating vegan in Kauai over on World of Vegan. So I will drop the link down below. You can definitely check that out. Lots of good grub. And hopefully that will make it a lot easier for you to find what you're looking for. I divided it by the North Shore, the South Shore, and then the East Side. So that should make it a bit easier. Thank you so much for tuning in. I know this is weird times to be publishing a traveling video, but we went months ago back when there was a big lull in the pandemic and I know things are ramping up now, but I'm just finally getting around to editing, editing it. So hope you enjoy and sending you all lots of love. hope you enjoyed this video if you have been to Kauai and have any tips for vegan spots that I may have missed definitely drop them down below if you've been to any of these places let me know what you think or if you have anywhere else awesome to travel as vegan I'd just love to, to hear about it down below thanks for watching as always don't forget to thumbs up this video if you want to support the world of vegan channel and subscribe so you can be the first to see our next videos and I'll see you in the next one bye